What's up everybody, Retropie Guy here. Today we're going to go over how to set up a Super Nintendo gamepad with your Retropie system. Uh, today I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4, but the process is pretty much the same on any of the Raspberry Pi um, setups. So first thing we're going to do is put your game collection SD card into the back of your Raspberry Pi. Um, don't put anything into your USB ports at this time and go ahead and power that up. Um, once everything boots in, you're going to come to this welcome screen here, which says no game pads detected. Um, at this point, go ahead and take your um, Super Nintendo game pad, plug it into your USB port. It does not matter if you have a wired um, game pad or a um, wireless with the USB receiver. Um, process is exactly the same regardless. So go ahead and select, uh, we're going to hold the A button. Um, you're going to see your gamepad title is going to populate across the bottom of that screen. It's going to bring you right into this configuration page and all we have to do is follow these um, uh, couple of simple prompts here. Um, it says D-pad up so you're going to go onto your gamepad here, select the D-pad up, do the same for D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right. Now go ahead and select the um, start button, select button A, B, X, Y, um, left shoulder, right shoulder. That is all the buttons you have on a Super Nintendo gamepad. So um, for the remaining options here, we're just gonna bypass those by holding any of the buttons we've already configured. Um, so I'm just gonna hold the A button for each of these. That bypasses everything. Most of these are for like, if you're setting up a um, PlayStation controller or something that has a lot more options than the um, Super Nintendo. I'm going to go down to the hotkey enable here. So the hotkey is actually to, um, if you're playing a, a, a game and you want to exit the game and go back to your uh, game collection menu, you will hit um, your hotkey to do that. So for this um, specific controller, I recommend you hitting the select and the start button at the same time. So we're just going to tap those together. Uh, we're not going to hold them down, just tap them. You'll see that populates in there and then just hit the A button to select OK. It's going to load for a second. Um, once you come to this screen, you know that that's saved successfully and that's all it is. Um, that take about 30 seconds or so to to map those controls for the uh, Super Nintendo gamepad. Um, super easy. So now you can um, jump over to your game collections here um, and then just select A to get into a game and you're all set. Remember to hit start and select together. Just tap those in order to leave your game and you'll come back to your game menu. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you found this video helpful, uh, please give us a like. Uh, feel free to follow us for future videos and be sure to check us out online at www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.